What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. So in this video, I want to go over how to set up the Facebook pixel for your Teespring campaign and then how you would actually see the results in your Facebook ads manager. So yes, we will be using ads manager for this. I will show you and I will tell you why, uh, but let's begin. So in the previous video, we've created our campaign and there was a little spot for you to input your pixel. So what you should do is if you you know, if, if you're just setting up your account and you want to input the pixel right away, what we can do is we can go back here. So here's, you know, our, our account. Um, let's go into pixels. And we can just take this pixel ID. You see that? All you have to do is literally just take that. And when you're making the campaign, in the previous video, we went to advanced settings. It says insert Facebook pixel here. Just put that ID there. Simple as that. You may, however, still need to go into analytics. It's either analytics or uh, let me see products. Uh, sorry, settings. Not neither one of those. Okay, so you may still need need to go into settings and go to conversion tracking and put in your pixel ID here. So once we put that in, I mean that's pretty much it. You can say update info and you're done on that part. Okay, so whether you put the pixel in when you first created the campaign or you did not does not matter put the pixel here anyway uh, so now that's pretty much it so now what we can do is when you go into your ads manager it's going to show you three things it's going to be one so so we gave them this pixel id what what uh, teespring did is they put the pixel um they added it on your view page page they added it on your uh, order form page and on the order form confirmation page okay to know how many people um how many people landed, just saw your Teespring website, how many people actually clicked on add to cart, and then how many people actually bought, okay? So we'll need to look at that. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to go into Ads Manager. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video on Ads Manager versus Power Editor, make sure to check that out. I'll put a link up above. Uh, you do need to use Ads Manager for this. So we'll need to go into Customize Columns here, and we need to select, so after we do that, uh, let's go to Website, and we'll need to select three things. So we'll need to select uh, checkouts initiated. So checkouts initiated, purchases, and uh, let me see. Sorry, no, add to cart, not checkouts initiated. And uh, where's the other one? Content views. There you go. Sorry about that. So content views is how many people actually saw your page. Add to cart is how many people added it to cart but did not buy. And then purchases, how many people actually bought. You'll click on apply. And now what you'll see is these three. So in my campaign, when I ran a campaign, I saw a certain amount of people here. Um, I'll just click that. Oops. By the way. Um, so I saw a certain amount of people here, right? And obviously it's going to narrow, so you're going to get a uh, higher number of people here. Then you'll see how many added to cart, and then you'll see purchases. So that's about it. Now, if you do want some more information or you ever get stuck or you kind of you want a refresher, you can just type in Google, type in uh, Facebook Teespring Pixel. And I believe the first thing that should come up, this one, just click on it and they will kind of guide you, gu guide you through the process, which is the exact same thing we did. So here they even guide you how to create a pixel. If you're unsure about Facebook pixels, I'll put a link up above. I tell you everything you need to know in 15 minutes, how to set up the Facebook pixel, how to install it everywhere on every site you have, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, so really, if you know that, you don't need to know this stuff. But here's where they tell you to put in the pixel. Um, that is something separate. I believe that is for, um, that's before when Facebook had multiple pixels. Now they only have one. Uh, and then here are actually the five things they have. Now I only use view content, add to cart and purchase, but you can also use buy it now and initiate checkout. So if we go back to our ads manager and we say customize columns, um, initiate checkout. And I'm not seeing, uh, I'm actually not seeing the buy it now. Uh, but I mean, that's pretty much add to cart, right? People that add to cart, they pretty much said buy it now. It's it's the same exact thing. So these are really the four you have. Um, but like I said, I just use these three, add to cart, purchases, and content views, right? And you should see, you should see more than enough for what you need. Um, the main thing is, of course, purchases, right? If you're seeing a ton of content views and a ton of add to cart, but zero purchases, that is not a profitable campaign. Fix something, 
change your description, change your design, et cetera, et cetera. The main thing you should be looking at is website purchases, okay? Um, so that's about it. That's pretty much how you set up the Facebook pixel. It's very simple, straightforward. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.